Good morning, my name is Kathy. I am a 71 year old Saint makeup artist and all week I have been sharing with you ideas on how to pare down your normal daily application so that you have a much lighter coverage and can weather the warm steamy um, temperatures that we have throughout the summer. And one of the ways that many people like to do that is they like to use a tinted moisturizer. Well, I'm gonna show you how you take your moisturizer and my moisturizer has a sunscreen. I use the Mary Kay one. I'm gonna show you how you take your regular moisturizer and you actually create your own tinted moisturizer. So let me leave my glasses on just so I can see. And I am picking up June. This is my color. Um, uh, if you are a watching uh, somebody who watches my um, group, you know that I have moved back to this color um, because I've had a little too much sun, and it wasn't um, it wasn't blending well on my face. It would blend, but I would see polka dot pores, and if you can see polka dot pores, you got the wrong color. So I have it mixed up. I am going to, I'm going to apply this with my fingers. Um, oh, it smells so good. Um, <laughs> I fell in love with this SPF when I was visiting my friend who actually took care of me after my surgery. And I wanted to sit out in sun because we had uncharacteristically like really, really warm weather. And I said, no, I can't. I didn't bring a sunscreen. <laughs> so she said, you do know you live, you're living with a Mary Kay consultant. So, so she gave me some of this sunscreen and it plays beautifully with our product. So look at that. In, sorry, I got a little bit of goop in my hair. And I just washed my hair too. Um, but moral of the story, clip your hair back. Um, but look at that, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck. So if you're going out, you got a convertible, you're gonna be out working in the yard, this is a great way to get coverage, not have to run out and buy anything new, simply, mix up your own tinted moisturizer. So there you go, that's one coat. Now, I am still going to use my blend brush today. The blend brush is the one that is in the Demi line. This one's still on sale, but if you have been watching any of my videos, you know that there is going to be a um, brush Blitz next week, all week, every day, they will have a different brush on sale. I don't know what it's going to be. They are not telling us. If they would, trust me, we would tell you. But there has been no notification on what that's going to be. And so for 24 hours, there will be a different brush or combo or what. We don't have a clue. Um, that's going to be um, at a special price. And um, if you are looking to get a couple extra brushes, this might be a great time for you to do that. Now, since I've already applied my product all over and it's with my moisturizer, obviously I'm not doing the cheetah hack, the dots and the stripes. I'm simply applying the product where it needs to go. And then I'm coming in with the blend brush and I'm gonna blend it, okay? And I probably look pretty dewy on camera. I'm assuming I look dewy here and that's because of the moisturizer. Because normally I will put my moisturizer on and I will let it set for about 10 minutes before I put on my um, foundation shades, my highlight shades. But since I mixed them together, couldn't do that today. All right, so there we've got that. I'm gonna take my finger 
to put on my contour. And the only reason I'm taking my finger is because I don't want that much product in my blend brush. Because I wanna use the blend brush to blend, okay? So I am gonna give myself a little bit of contour with my finger, come back to the blend brush, and let's first blend this. And I'll tell you, with the moisturizer just freshly on your face, um, this really blends very easily. Normally, contour needs to set on your face just a little bit, kind of warm up to the body temperature. Um, this, is, this is going on beautifully. You won't want to blend that away that's on your nose. You just want to soften it. And same is true here on the side of the face. You want to soften it and you want to move it up. Moving on up. Everything is moving on up, okay? I want to be able to see that there. Then I'm going to come back with a little bit of blusher and leap color. Take some of that off and use the same brush to blend and go up. You're always blending up a mature skin. You aren't doing the apples of our cheeks anymore. God bless us, it'd be great if we could, but those apples of the cheeks are just not where they used to be. So we have to work with that and move them move that shadow, or shadow, move that blush up, okay? So there you can see, I'm actually going to take my tip of my blend brush and I'm gonna go into my bronzer, which is in my Summer Glow Palette, and I'm gonna use that for eyeshadow today. So I'm not gonna do any kind of an eye look. This is simply all I'm gonna do when was the last time you got to use bronzer for an eyeshadow? I love to do this, it works great. And then of course, if you want to bronze it up a little bit, you can certainly swirl it in there, give yourself a little sun-kissed glow. Okay. And there you have it. Nice, light, airy look. I am going to use my setting spray in the palm of my hand and use my um, big brush to pounce all over that. And that's because I put mascara on before I came on camera and it's not waterproof. Okay. So I have that. Now my makeup is set for the day. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. And as soon as that dries down, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of powder in the um, T-zone area. I just don't like quite that much sheen on me. And um, we will get this matted down. And then that also keeps my hair from sticking to my face. So let me give a little bit of a powder. And if I'm not using the blend brush, to apply my product. That's what I use for my powder. But since it has, right now, since it has a little bit of product on it, I didn't wanna dot that all over my face. So I simply used another brush that's there. So there you go. Tinted moisturizer. Hmm. One that you can create your own with any color that you have. And look at that coverage. Isn't it pretty? Very great, so versatile. I'm telling you, your Saint product, there's just nothing that you can't do with it. And keep in mind, I have bronzer on my eyelid. Isn't that pretty? Thanks for stopping, have a blessed weekend, and uh, we will see you soon, bye-bye.